So hey everyone, my name is Pumbrin Manil and I'm a 16-year-old developer from Thailand and this is For the Love of WebAssembly. Hope you enjoyed it. First of all, JavaScript is a big ecosystem and this is what makes us great. For, as you can see, there is React, there is Redux, and GraphQL, and a bunch of other libraries, and this makes our ecosystems fit together, and we can create any applications we want, just like the animals in the, in the forest. Now, there are some times when JavaScript alone might not cut it. For example, when you have performance problems, you need more performance. You need more computation power. Maybe you need to figure out a face of someone and sometimes JavaScript might not be enough. Or sometimes you just need to get really low level and just flip some bits. And this is what our friends come in, WebAssembly. And this is like a tale of two worlds. We have the JavaScript world, which is the world of simplicity, elegance, and the world of WebAssembly, which is the world of performance. And once we combine these two worlds, we can open a portal and make really great apps. Now, in WebAssembly, it is a binary format which you can use any language you want. But for now, I will pick Rust. The reason I pick Rust is because first, it's really modern. You can use MapReduce. You can use many, a lot, a lot of libraries which can make your life really easy. And next, Rust is like my mom. My mom loves to scold at me, but she has good intentions. So when you write really bad code, Rust will scream at you. The compiler will not let you compile until you make your code good. And last, it is really fast. Rust done a lot of, lot of shaking at compile time, so it can, it can compile, your, combine your code, and it makes everything really fast. And it can use a lot of LLVM optimizations. Now. I'm, I know a lot of you might wonder how hard it is to use it because it is from another, another world, another language, but the good news is it's really easy. First, you have to import your module, which you can import like another JavaScript module, and the webpack loader will handle the rest for you. You can just await the module, and then you can call it like it's from the JavaScript function as usual. Now, how do you export your functions? The good news is you can write your JavaScript directly in Rust. So you can do console.log from Rust, you can do module.export from Rust, and anything, anything really. You can modify the DOM, you can, modi you can modify the canvas, and it will call out to JavaScript just for you. And this is a great part. So, let's do some demo, shall we? Sure. Okay, so here's my commit history, and you all can build this project at pumperin slash react rust. And this is a starter kit, so any of you can go and download it right away. Okay, so here's some knock-knock jokes. <coughs> when I hit reply, it will go call out to Rust and fetch, and fetch some replies for me. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't what I expected. Okay, <coughs> so, <coughs> so the JavaScript code call out to Rust and it gives us some replies. Let's check the code. And as you can see, you can just write React like you would as usual. But the good part is you can simply import your WebAssembly functions and use it in your Redux, Redux reducer. So here, I just make Redux Saga listens for the actions and then it will call out to WebAssembly. Okay, so really this is all I have to say. 
So thank you everyone for listening and have a great time. Thank you.